Yes, yes, yes. Shalom, Chabarim. Shalom. This is Yadin right here. This is Yadin. Yadin Ben Chayel Ben Kushi. Yes, I. This is Yadin right here, here, here. Ras I Adonis Tafari L-O-J, the line of Judah Society. So I want to touch on this just briefly right here, go into a little more like a build as we move forward. But there's a lot of misconceptions concerning the Bible, especially among the conscious, so-called conscious community and black conscious community. A lot of misconceptions. We've been hearing a lot of them, some interesting points of view, even some interesting questions that many times, you know, we have not even asked and people have not even asked themselves some of these questions. There's a lot of assumptions and they will misapply the Bible generally Right. And every verse that they want to choose, pick and choose to everybody and say, well, how come this is not so? For example, there's the verse and there's the script where it speaks about the kingdom of God I was here. And ones and ones go back and forth on this while they was trying to dismiss the truth of the Bible at one and the same time. They was trying to appropriate, you know, appropriate is another fancy word for steal. They was trying to appropriate or we would say even miss might misappropriate you know what they want you know the cafeteria some people call them cafeteria christians right? so here 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 we have luke 17 21 17 21 where it says neither shall they say lo here or lo there for the kingdom of god the kingdom of hilehim of ha elohim the power of the almighty is within you now people will say well this is speaking to everybody er body just like the one in jeremiah where it says about you know that he's known jeremiah you know he's known jeremiah even in the womb ones will say well if he knows everybody then why are some people good and why is some people kind of bad if he you know if he knew you know like when you talk about he knowing jeremiah you remember that one where he says he knew him, you know, he knew him from his mother's womb. You know, that's another verse in scripture right there. I think it's Jeremiah, Yeremiah, Yeremiah, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I form thee in the belly. Now notice, even in the language it's saying thee, speaking specifically to Yeremiah. And by extension, speaking to the Bnei Yisrael. You know how folks will go, they'll pick and choose a verse in the Bible, whether they're in Christianity or been influenced by some form or denomination of Christianity, and they will misapply these particular verses in a general sense and even read the Bible, but miss the specifics. Speak to the children of Yisrael. When we talk about Torah, talking about what's called the Old Testament, the Brit HaYeshana, says, speak to who the children of Yisrael. Even right here, here, here in Jeremiah, if we go to the first words of the book of Jeremiah, it says the words of Yeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, of the priests that were in Anatot, in the land of Binyamin, in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of Yahuwah came, to whom the word of who came, to whom the word of Yahuwah HaKadosh Baruch Baruch Hashem, the Holy One, blessed be he, blessed be the name, came in the days of Josiah. Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, Yehuda, in the 13th year of his reign. It came also in the days of Jehoiakim, right? Jehoiakim, right? Or Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, to the end of the 11th year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, to the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month now notice the carrying away of jerusalem now we people look at jerusalem and say well jerusalem is a city right right jerusalem is a city all right let's go over here this is one of our main verses we was going to call this one here the kingdom of god is within you but who are you all right just touch on that right here the kingdom of god is within you but the question here is who are you this is why when ones and ones say those not scriptural, biblical, there's a lot of truth to it. They say, know thyself, know thyself, right? Know thyself, love thy neighbor as thyself. So why ones and ones not very loving, right? Even within the body of Moshiach, sometimes the body of Christ is because they don't what? They, they don't love themselves or they're loving a the next one with the lack of love that they have for themselves. 
All right, so Jeremiah 1 and 5 right here, before I formed thee. Now, the verses I read before, it was these verses right here, going from the top right here, just to show and prove right here. These verses, they give a context, right? But notice when it says the carrying away of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a city. Can a city be carried into captivity? So this shows that the people, right, the people are really truly Yerushalayim. We talk about Yisrael. People say, well, if you're an Israelite, then you go to Israel, <laughs> You may have placed that since 1940s that they call Israel by the agreement of the majority of the international nations, the Goyim, na, 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 na. Israel, Israel is the people, and also Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. That's why it says the carrying away of Jerusalem captive. How can you carry a city away captive? Right? Can they carry New York captive? They say, well, we did. they took New York right into a foreign land, <laughs> like, like captive. When they really talk about the people, so the people is that consciousness, just to point this out right here, because is hell a state of mind? We've mentioned that before, but let's get into the specific, let's get into the details. That was just the basic, it's called like the GED level, the basic, general equivalency. But let's get into the detail. My right? study to show ourselves approved, the divinity is in the details. Let's get into the, 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 the details, right? You know, the details or the crux, right? The crux of the matter. Then the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, came to who's the me here? According to the context of this is Jeremiah, Jeremiah. If we're talking about Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah, then the word came to Jeremiah, came to Jeremiah. You know, not to this one, not to that one, you know, not to Yad in here, you know, not to, uh, this is one of the verses that we've heard, like even Sarnetto. You know what I mean? Um, Frank Gary, a.k.a. Sarnetto, p.k.a. Sarnetto. We heard him even use this, you know, a lot of times and tried to apply to, and what even ones have told him, and no, this was speaking to Jeremiah. And he said, well, didn't the Most High know you in the womb? Is he able to know? Right? Is it in his prerogative to know? Yes. But here he's speaking, revealing something specifically to Yeremiah. So here's what he reveals specifically to Yeremiah. Yeah, we got to, that's why we said we're going to make this brief because we have on the Rastafari Israelites of YouTube, you know, we have tonight's podcast right here and another sabbatical study, Yitro, Jethro, right here in the season 2023. Verse 5 says, before, before, right, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before, before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified, I set you apart. Now, sanctification is like the whole idea of holiness being set apart. Now, this is in the context of speak to the children of Yisrael. So the kingdom of God is within you. So this one we want to call this particular vlog right here. So to call this one that not everybody is a child of God. Not everyone, right? Everyone is not a child of God, right? right? Children of God, all people, everybody is not a child of God, right? Contextually, the scripture, to keep it live and direct and simple, only the righteous, right? According to his perspective and his sight, are children of God. We'll get to the specific verse in the Gospel of Johannan, of, of John, the specific verse right there. These are these misconceptions that people run around with. I wanted to touch on this one first right here, right? He said he formed. Now, those who understand the Hebrew, those who have gone to the next level of the Talmudim, of the Talmudai, right? Yeshua, Adonainu, the disciples of Yeshua, Right, our master, right, they will know that these are processes here of creation that the Almighty speaks of elsewhere, formed, right? He knew, right? And before you came as forth, right, out of the womb, what he did, he sanctified. He said, I sanctify, right? I knew, right? You know, I formed first, I knew, I sanctified in that order scripturally, I ordained, right? I ordained thee. Right, I ordain thee to be thee, a prophet, a prophet to the nations. Wait, 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 the nation, we're talking about nations, different nationalities, different nations other than the nation of Yisrael, called Yisrael, right, to, to point it out. So this verse, right, is not, can, you know, one can read this, I can read this, say, oh, this is speaking, he's talking about he knew me, uh, formed me in the belly, right? And the only way that that's truly applicable 
is the identification firstly with the righteous in his sight, right, right, and secondarily, according to the Old Testament context or the prophet's context with Yisrael, because we touched on that in the very beginning in the land of Benjamin, right? The word, the word of Yahweh. It's like right now, we in prison or we locked up somewhere, right? And my 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 father writes me a letter. He he wrote me a letter. He wrote me a letter. Now that letter, you can get something out of that letter too, but he wrote the letter to me. Mine, right? he he addressed it to me. Right, <laughs> the word of Yahuwah came right to who? Right to Jeremiah. Right came to Jeremiah. So that's the specific context there. Right, and if we just even read on, just the next verse it says right here. It says, "Then said I, Ah, Adonai Yahweh, right? Oh, Adonai Jehovah, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child." Now, a lot of things get lost in translation. We we mentioned as the principle there. A lot of things get lost in translation, not to get into, you know, all the details, but sometimes it's necessary, especially when we start to talk about, you know, the whole um, giants in the Bible, the sons of God, because this is the connection right here. Is everybody a child of God? Not everybody. Everybody is not a child of God. Or why everybody not children of God. Maybe something like that, you know, for the title to be kind of tight and right. Why not F only the righteous according to scripture? Now this kind of connects to some other points, right? Some other points of scripture, right? That are connected. Now a lot of ones, because they already form certain ideas in their mind, right? They are unteachable, right? But they still are breakable. So we're going to break them. We got to break them. Right? Because when they go into the scripture, remember the scripture says, what well, says, speak to who? Speak to the children of Yisrael. Uh, huh? Speak to who? Speak to this one, that one, the next one. Speak to the Americans. Speak to the, the Europeans. E even in a sense, speak to the Africans. Right? The, the, speak to the Asians. Right? Speak to the South Americans. No, speak to the children of Yisrael. Now, there may be children of Yisrael in the Americas. There may be children of Yisrael. <laughs> well, there are. Children of Israel in America. There may be children of Israel, you know, in 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 Europe, in, in Africa, in Asia. So this is a message for them, right? Like if, if my father, if we're all like brothers and related family, right? And our great ancestor write to us, right? But wrote to me to communicate a message to y'all, then that means that even though you were speaking to me, the message is still relevant to y'all. Right. So when it says the kingdom of God is in you, yes, the kingdom of God is in you. But the question here is, who are you? Right. Who are you? Right. And so for those um, lost, found sheep or those who, you know, those um, of our people, so-called black people, you know, once lost, now found Americans in the Caribbean who don't identify. Right. With Israel, although. Right. For in his sight, there's applicable applications. There's apps for that. Right. Still, they have no right in this. So it's almost like stealing in a sense. Somebody wrote you a letter. You know, your wife wrote you a letter and told about how much she loves you. So I find the letter and it, and it comforts my heart. Now I'm beginning to think that your wife is my wife. <laughs> Same thing that their God Right is our God, their God, right of the world and nations is not. This is why Jeremiah was selected. It didn't say he selected the other nations to tell us anything, right to tell us anything, but selected, for example, Jeremiah to tell something to these other nations. Right, that's the first point right there. Now, to just prove right here scripturally, biblically, ones might not like that. You know, a lot of ones not going to like this. They're not going to like this. Even some who are believers, they're not going to like this because they have been lied to, right? They believe, well, we all are children of God. You know, they'll speak this generalization, this gentile, gentilization, right? It's almost like a spiritual gentrification, right? Uh, gentilization, you know, and act like it applies to everybody. Well, well the, Jesus says the kingdom of God is in all of us. <laughs> Did he really say that? Right? Did he really say that? Right? What did he really say? Right? So, okay, let's go to the scripture and verse right here. Right? And hopefully we can seal up with um, 
uh, the Nephilim or the giants, as, as y'all call them. Then they be mixing up things. Somebody introduce a Hebrew word, right? Some of us go into more details, but they can't really follow through because it's not for them. Right? Speak to the children of Yisrael, right? And they get lost in the translation, right? They get lost in the translation. So the kingdom, let's look up kingdom, kingdom right here. Kingdom, Kang, Kangdom, right? Kangdom, right? And within, right? This should be this should be directly traceable. There shouldn't be a lot of verses on this. It might be. Let's see how many verse. Two verses, two verses, right? One in Daniel 11 and 20 that has kingdom and within in the KJV. And here's the verse right here, Luke 17:21. It says, neither, neither shall they say, lo, look, here, or lo, lo is like short in old English for look, right, like behold in a sense, look there, for behold, look and see, here it is, the kingdom of Elohim, right, the true good, the true God, people say, yeah, the God thing, we use this for translation because it's a stepping stone, don't stumble over the stepping stone, the kingdom, right, of Elohim is within you. Now, people say, well, he's speaking to everybody in the world. No, everybody in the world can hear this, right? Everybody in the world can hear this. And they still, within the Brit Hadasha, the new covenant, the new covenant, they can decide on the truth, you know, considering the circumstances, right? There are choices that they have, right, to, to hear or to forbear. But the context is important, right? You remember that speech that they said, um... Um, Mark Anthony made, I think it's in the Julius uh, Caesar uh, Shakespeare thing. People take it as history, but it's actually Shakespeare. You know, he says, he says, friends, friends, Romans, countrymen, hear my word, blah, 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 blah. You know, some of you probably know it better than me. You know, that Roman stuff right there. But he was speaking to, it says, friends, countrymen, Romans, blah, blah, blah. He, he qualified who he was talking to. Are you a friend, right? Are you a friend of, of, of Mark Anthony, right? Mark Anthony of history, not some other Mark Anthony, but Mark Anthony, are you a friend of his? Was he speaking to you? Is citizen, or are you a citizen of Rome, right? Or you're a Roman? No, you wasn't, you see? So it wasn't speaking, right? It wasn't speaking to us. So could we say that some of the Bible's not speaking to everybody? It's speaking of, <laughs> of everybody, right? But specifically, right, from the Old Testament to the children of Yisrael. Mm -hmm. The context from the Old Testament specifically to the children of Yisrael in the Torah and the books forward, right? And, and, I'll put the end, and those who will hear, right? Those who will hear and those who will, how can we say, who will um, receive the truth as the truth is. Not try to twist it up and say, well, oh, the kingdom of heaven is within you, so that means the devil's in you too. You hear people say, hey, the devil's in you too. Wait, wait, hold on for a Is it the kingdom of Elohim? I even hear some of them say the kingdom of heaven. No, he said the kingdom of Elohim, the kingdom of God, right, is within you. And then they would say, and we've heard one say this, you might hear them say, 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 you hear the hearer say, the hearer say, they will say, Right. Well, the devil's in you, too. <laughs> Did the verse say this right here? But, but let's get back to our main point. Who is it talking to? You know, when somebody's talking to another person, they're having maybe a discussion or argument or whatnot like that. And somebody else jumps in and the people in the discussion, the direct discussion say, um, I wasn't talking to you either. We're not talking to you. or I wasn't talking to you. But I'm not talking. But I'm not. I'm not talking to you. This is what. The spirit of truth is saying, but they can't hear the deaf, the deaf, the dumb, the blind to this, right? Let's go to the top of the chapter. We're in chapter 17, right? Red letter, red letter, red letter, right? First verse says, then said he to the disciples, ha Talmudim, in the Hebrew, the Talmudim. Then said he, Yeshua Robeno, our rabbi, the rabbi of rabbis, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, said to who? The disciples. It is impossible, it's not possible, but that offenses will come. So for the brothers and sisters that on some platforms you see these ones being offensive against those who may truly 
believe, have faith, admit the truth and seek to walk out and live it and credit to the truth to say, believe, have faith, they credit the truth to those who discredit. But what does the verse say here? It is impossible, but that offenses, offenses, what are offenses? Bring that out. Scandal on. The scandal, scandal on, scandal, right? What's a scandal? If we go back to the original root of the word offenses in the Koine Greek is scandalion, scandalon, right? Which means a movable stick or trigger of a trap, a trap stick. So they try to trap you, right? In some of these endless and useless debates. Now, to reason and have a discussion, we say come make with reason. Reasoning is good. Right. Debating might be necessary. Right. But that offenses, these offenses come, they, they, they lure you in, you know, to try to shake your faith because they have no faith. They, they don't well, they don't credit the truth. Right. And many of them are Israel, but will deny that they're Israel. They say, I'm just a black. I'm just an African or something. OK. OK. Right. A trap, a sneer, any impediment placed in the way and causing one to stumble or fall. <laughs> what any impediment, right, placed in the way, where it says, I am the way, truth and life, right, and causing one to stumble, right, stumble, because every time you stumble, you don't fall, or furthermore, to fall, a stumbling block. That's what we said, let the English, the KJV be a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. Occasion of stumbling. A rock which is cause of stumbling. Now, in the figurative sense, right, this is applied to Yeshua HaMoshiach, a.k.a. also known as, or PKA, publicly known as, right, or GKA, the Gentiles know as, right, as Jesus Christ, whose person and career were so contrary to the expectation of the Yehudim, the Jews, right? Concerning the Messiah. We say this to other Israelites concerning the King of Kings, the black Messiah, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, right? The expectation, they have expectations concerning what the Messiah, what Christ, you hear a lot of Christians, they talk about when Christ come again, what it'll be like, based on what they believe, some things may be true, some things not, but that they rejected him, right? And by their obstinacy, Right, obstinacy, right, made shipwreck their salvation. A lot of ones in the pseudo consciousness community and their blackology are doing this. Any personal thing, so it can go both ways, right? But what does Yeshua say right here, right? Any personal thing which one is entrapped, drawn into error or sin. This is the context here. It is not possible, but that offenses, stumblings will come, or opportunities or occasions. Right, that will tempt one to stumble. Thus, we have the Binu Shabbat Shemayim prayer, our Father who art in heaven, a Binu Shabbat Shemayim prayer. Right, lead us not into temptation. So, when it says lead us not, right, lead us in the way, truth, and life, but not into temptation, we're not saying that temptation won't come, but we trust in His lead, right? So, even if we find ourselves, right. Pick up on that, right? But woe to him through whom they come. Woe to them. What does it say about such ones that be scoffers and mockers of the scripts out there, right? And some of y'all be, you know, we check it out too. We check it out too, you know, but, but if you find that it's shaking you or causing you to doubt, then you have to just get your house in order or just, you know, make your decision better. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea them that he should offend, that he should do what? Offend, scandalizo. So scandalizo, now we have the verb. The other one was a noun, right? Now we have the verb, right? A stumbling block, an impediment to cause one to trip or to fall, right? To trip or to fall. It's like when one to ask you, well, do you trust so-and-so? And you say, yeah, I trust so-and-so. So why do you trust them? And you explain to them the reason why you trust them. The person has always been good to me. They always did such and such. They told me the truth. Even when I didn't listen, blah, 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 blah. So from someone, then somebody else say, well, I don't think you should trust them. I don't think you should trust them. Because maybe they had a different experience with the person, a whole different set of a scenario right there. Can you really prove that? You can only prove that to them if they credit or slash belief, right? They credit as true what you're, what you're saying. But if they have another thing in their heart and their mind, this is why we're going to pick up on the point concerning is hell a state of mind 
or is hell a condition? Just note that right there. Hopefully just vibes and, you know, pick up on that. Is hell a state of mind, right? Or is hell a condition? Some might say both, right? But according to the scripts, right? But let's, let's grind on this one right here just a little bit more. So it says that he should offend, cause to stumble one of these little ones, Right, so we have to speak up, especially for the little ones, like the, the young disciples, the new ones, the ones whose whose faith and calling is true, but there's a lot of, of highways and byways. There's a lot of diverse, you know, there's there's they're going either too far to the left, they're going too far to the right, and they're going off of the way, the truth, and the life, or they're being tempted to, or there are offenses, there's scandalions, they're being scandalized, you know, how do you be scandalized in people's name, in social, I'm going to out you, I'm going to expose you, you know, in social, that's, that's all that we're talking about right here, right, it says take heed to yourselves, right, take heed to yourselves, check yourself, take heed to yourselves, Right? If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, have a change of mind, or he recognize he's wrong, forgive him, let it go. Right? And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, I, I was wrong, I have a change of mind, that was wrong for me to do. I thought that before, but then now when I think that again, I reckon I was wrong, my bad. Thou shalt forgive him. Right. And the apostle said to him, increase our faith. Now, not to go through this verse by verse, increase our faith. What is faith? Peace these here. Let's go from the New Testament. Conviction of the truth. They don't have a conviction of the truth. So they say, all oh, this belief is all belief, belief. Because they're not convicted of the truth. They think they're convicted, of the, but they're not convicted of the truth. They have their own truth. It's a pseudo truth, but not the truth. As respecting, right? As respecting the new covenant, as respecting the word. And we're not talking about the translation, but we're talking about the truth, right? We're talking about the truth, right? Sometimes the translation, we have to admit the truth. Sometimes the translation don't bring out the truth, and sometimes ones get scandalized. They, they stumble over, you know, stumble over the stumbling stones, right, in the translation. Strong's bringing out right here. The word for faith is persuasion, credence, right? Basically, it's the word credit, right? You know, some people you credit, Right? Some people you discredit. Right? Some people you trust. Some you don't trust. You know? The other word they insert in there is belief. People get all caught up on that word belief. But it's just one of the words they use to translate the very same word from the Hebrew and also from the New Testament, the Koina, the Koina Greek of the Yehudi and of the faithful disciples and the faithful Yehudi and Hebrews. So in other words, even the New Testament Greek is something that is ours. I want to point it out to the brothers and sisters because one's getting, you know, stumbling over that. I know English is difficult. You know what I mean? But with faith, with the spirit, with truth, you know, he gives us wisdom, the spirit of understanding, understanding, overstanding. Now, let's scroll down here. Let's scroll down here, right? Because we're in this chapter right here, right? And there's a whole dialogue that's going on. So we go from that right there, and then we get down to here, to verse 21. Now, if you want to go through all the ins and outs of the chapter, which is important, right? And he said to him, arise, like, so he healed somebody. But he's first speaking to his disciples, right? And then secondarily, he's speaking to the other Yehudi, Yehudim, you know, to the other, you could say, Jews, you know, Judahites, you know, Judeans, you know, to the others who are also by Judeans and Israelites, you know, he's speaking to the other. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, right, these religious hypocrites, right, right, they they, they knew a lot of good things, but they were hypocrites. He said, observe what they observe, but don't do after their works, right? Because people say, well, why are you studying these other people's works? Because a lot of their works, they did due diligence in studying, but they came to the wrong conclusion, even though they had found the truth, right? It's like science today. They've come to the wrong conclusion, even though they have found the truth. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Elohim should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of Elohim cometh not with observation. What does that mean, Chavarim? Right? Parateresis. Parateresis. Observation. Parateresis. Inspection. Or ocular 
ocular evidence. What's ocular? Ocular, right? Ocular has to do with the eye, right? Seeing with the eye. Paratereo, paratereo has the idea of standing beside to watch, to attend with the eyes, auguries, to look at something, you know, to, to inspect, you know, the kingdom of heaven. I mean, the kingdom of Elohim. Slicha, slicha, or to some of y'all who speak it as Salakia, slicha, Salakia. The kingdom of Elohim cometh not with observation, right? Or another way of saying it, with an outward show, an outward shoe, right? With an outward show, right? Well, if somebody's righteous in the kingdom and blah, 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 we're going to be able to see you for eyes. That's what they say. Say, say, say. And that's what you hear. Hear, 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 say, right? Hear. <laughs> Right? Shema'a Yisrael. Verse 21. Neither neither shall they say, Lo. Right? Look here. Or, Lo, look there. For behold, the kingdom of Elohim is within you. Who is the you there? Notice the next verse. And he said to the disciples. So he's speaking to fellow Yehudi. Fellow Judeans and fellow Jews. Yes, 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 yes. The Judahites, the Judahites, right there, there, there. Yeah, we're juggling here, getting ready for the podcast on Rastafari Israelites on the YouTubes, Rastafari Israelites on the YouTubes. So, the disciples had came to him, you know, then, then, he, no, he, then he said to the, Slika, then he said to his, to the disciples. So the point is here, you see disciples both at the top of the chapter and disciples, Right after the statement. So this is specifically where he's speaking to the Romans, where he's saying to a Roman that the kingdom of, of Elohim is in you. No. Okay, you know that the devil he's called by remember Cain, you know, where he said to the Pharisees, Y'all are of, you know, your your father who's a murderer from the beginning. And the Judaic Yehudi in the Jewish and Hebrew Israelite sense, when somebody says that for such a fellow Israelite from the beginning, right? And he's faithful, he know I'm seeing my Bereshith. I'm talking about Genesis, what you call Genesis, Bereshit, because Bereshit means in beginning. Some say in the beginning, but more directly in Hebrew, in beginning, right? In beginning, quote, in the beginning, end quote. So when Yeshua said that, they automatically understood by his kind of illusion or allegorical speech, they automatically understood that he was saying that they were murderers like I am. But somebody who is not a Yehudi, not an Israelite, doesn't study Torah, would not understand that. That's why a lot of ones and ones, especially among our lost found people, especially among the conscious, so-called conscious community out there on these, uh, you know, social media streets, so to speak, you know, don't really understand this. You know, but not that they will not understand this. Hopefully, you know, in love and grace and truth and light, they will begin to understand the teaching of the King of Kings Christ. So what did he mean that the kingdom, right, of Elohim is in you, is within you, is within your midst because he was in their midst? Let's bring this up right here. The kingdom was in their midst, right, because he... Right, Yeshua was in their midst, right? He was in their midst and was within them, right? If, right, his word and his truth, right, and the spirit of life has been received in them, right? And how do we know this? I mean, we can connect even the sons of God now is the, is the next connection, Right, you know, the sons of God, because now we're talking about the kingdom. First, we first the breakdown on the kingdom, right? The kingdom of Elohim is within, right? Within has a twofold. People say, Well, well why you said it, 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 it because he other people are going to focus on the kingdom, like is in me, is in me, is in me, or is in, in you, is in you, is in you. Yeah, but who are you? Are you a disciple? Are you a Pharisee? Right? Are you a Yehudi? Right? Are you? Right? Or are you a a Christian, as once will say in the latter day, a Meshachawian? Are you a Messiahite? Do you have faith, right, in the Bain Elohim Chayim, right, in the Son of the Living Power, the Son of the Mighty One, the Almighty, A.K.A. the Son of God? Notice He is the only begotten Bain. Elo 
Him. Overs, overs this. We're going to get into because people want to know, well, what does it mean only begotten and so forth and so on? And then some might ask, which is a good question. If he is the only begotten son of God, then how can we find elsewhere, right, sons of God, sons of God, like even and especially in the beginning, right? Ain't nothing new under the sun, especially in the beginning. So this is what we want to pick up on, right? Hopefully as we move forward with this reasonment, this is like a first a first part right here. Let's go to sons of God. Let's first of all go to the overstanding. Let's get to the overstanding. Sons of God and power. We have three. We have two verses. Two verses, right? But the exact verse is Johannan. Is John one and twelve, right? Chapter one, verse twelve. But as many as received, receive, right? Lambano, right? To say like to take. Right, that receives, that takes, receives, right? Everyone that receives him, right, to them gave he power. Now, this power is not the power that most people think. Even power is twofold. Though in English they translate with one word, but when you study both the Hebrew, we study the Amharic, the Gutters, right? We study even the coin of the Greek. There's two words for power. We find that brought out more in uh was that Acts, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, around about verse uh, 6, 7, and 8, around those verses right there. But here we have exousia, exousia. This is the power of choice. Once I say, well, do, do people have free will? People have will. That's my reasoning. People have will. But not everybody's will is the same measure. Why? Because some people put their wills, they, 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 they subject their wills, as it were, under other people's will. So they're in captivity. So when people's wills are subjected under other people's will, they do not have as much, we could say, free will. Well, see that, that whole word free, the, the scripture talks about how they talk about this free and this liberty and they confuse ones. So not even to go there with what we're saying right here, you know, we're saying will. Other people will say, they'll talk about free will. Our reason man, is that everyone does have will, but everybody's will is not, everybody's like will or willpower is not the same measure because some people are in captivity. Like, for example, some things I would not say or do, right, in front of my mother, right? Not that I would not do, but if you do it, you got to keep that energy. People don't use that like, well, we real people don't really use it like that because we recognize, yeah, but nah, most ones would agree that some things that we make certain exceptions, you know, for certain ones, for certain contexts, for certain situations, depends on who's who, you know what I mean? For example, our our mothers, say, and our, you know, fathers, if we have any, you know, honor or reverence for our fathers, you know, we live in strange times, and some things are actually understandable, not saying that they are right, not saying that we agree, like, to say that it's truth in the sense of what's right, but it's what is, so some things just is, right, it doesn't always make these things right, and that's what ones have to recognize, even with the scripture, some things is, it doesn't make it, when we say right, it doesn't make it right in the sense of like you will agree with it, right? Or that you'll be happy about it. There's many things within these scripts right here that we don't, when I say we don't agree with in the sense of when we first come across the truth, we have our own opinion about things. So this is where the growing pains come from. This is where learning, you know, there's many, you know, we could go into that discussion at a, at another, at another time. But here's we're talking about that um, exousia. What is exousia? Some don't have exousia. That's why they argue about free will all the time. That's what a lot of people argue and they try to say nobody has free will and, and against the Bible or whatever, because it goes to this very point. They may have been led to believe that they're a child of God, but they know themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They know themselves, right? And even if they were, like even the Israelites, remember the Israelites were Israelites and can prove their Israelite descendant being closer to Israel, Jacob, Jacob, right? But they chose other things, right? Right? So they, they even had the power of choosing not to be an Israelite like many ones and ones are doing today, right? But with that choice, there are consequences. So I want ones to overs. 
right? So then he said, well, God says that he creates, he's good and, and he creates evil. Yeah, right? Well, well, therefore, why does he blame people because the devil and him are buddies? You know, they go into all this r ridiculosity, right? But that's a part of the power of choice. Sometimes ones make a wrong choice. You make a wrong choice and you recognize, man, I wish I could make the right choice. But sometimes that so-called proverbial horse has already, that horse of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, that horse, right, has already left the stable, so to speak. Notice what it says right here. We left that on the screen purposely so you can read it, right? Liberty of doing as one pleases, the power of choice. So you can do as you please, right? Leave or permission, physical or mental power, right? Some people may have been like in a righteous home but thought the righteous home was wicked. Right. And then they go and seek a wicked home. But when they get in the wicked home, they find out that once they're in the wicked home, they don't have as much power of choice <laughs> to get out. In other words, it was easy to get in and it was easy to get out. And also and also with certain pseudo religions, certain pseudo religions some false so-called belief systems are the same way. You know, notice something with the children of Israel. Though they were chosen, though they were spoken to specifically, right? Many of them chose other, you know, they had other desires, right? They set their wills in other ways. And what did the Almighty do? Did the Almighty say, well, well, you don't have any power of doing this. I'm not going to let you make your choice. No, he allowed them their choice, right? So is it about belief, right? Is it about belief, or is it about, it's actually about both, right? It's actually about both. It's about reality, realismism, as some would say, right? As well as what you credit, right? Based on your physical or mental power, the ability or strength of which one is endued, which he, he or she uh, possesses or exercises. The power of authority, influence, right of privilege. And get into the breakdowns of the word. Because as you meditate on the breakdown of the word and you go over the verse, right? Hopefully, prayerfully, you know, one would have a clearer, you know, a clearer sense of the original sense of how it was meant to be understood by those who it was speaking to from the beginning, right? Or in the beginning. So... Here, 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 this point here about the sons of God, it says to become, they have the, 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 the authority, right? You know, the authority, the, the power here, exousia is in that sense, the authority, right? The will even, you know, like if you want to, you can. If you don't, you can reject it. But sometimes some people might get under other people's influence, you say, and under other people like you're under the influence. You say under the influence of drugs, but you could be under the influence of somebody else's um, psychology, somebody else's spirit, you know, somebody else's will, somebody else's influence or fear, you know, or fear or greed. You don't want to lose out, you know, that bag that you can get from somebody. So you're going to play the hypocrite, right? He gave power to become the sons, the B'nai Elohim, even to them that believe, right? Remember the word pistes, pisteo, right? To think to be true. What you think to be true. There's many things that we think to be true, right? And when we think to, to be true, we don't know. Some of the things we get to learn are true, that we thought to be true, and some things might not be. To be persuaded of, to, to credit, to place confidence in. But there's the context that he it is placing here, even to them that think to be true on Shemo, that think to be true on his name, Yeshua, Shemo, that think to be true on his name, right? So we can see the context of sons of God. So our sons of God, spooky, wooky angels out there. And, and even, let me pull that back. Well, angels, yes, but messengers, heavenly messengers or messengers. The word basically is messengers. Angels got you on some Gentile confusion. People like to talk to angel talk and then you can make up anything because it's basically a makeup word the way it's being used in these latter days and time. The right word is messenger, right? Right? That's why I said there's no, 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 no marriage in heaven, right? There's no marriage in the kingdom. Why is there no marriage in the kingdom in that conscience? Because you're about being a messenger, 
a messenger. There's not a giving in marriage. Or in fact, it's like ones are married in that sense to the lamb on the spiritual, the psychical, the soul, because the soul is feminine in all, right? On that level, they already they already are in that relationship. So now they are as messengers putting forth the message, right, of salvation, the message, right, of the kingdom. So the kingdom, right, is in right your midst but the question is who are you see that identification we cannot misapply that to everybody on the face of the earth right unless everybody on the face of the earth has become a creditor like an admitter of the same truth right then it is applicable otherwise it's not applicable and this is one of the reason why Yeshua was getting into those converses and conversations and debates even I mean, it wasn't for them it was a debate for him it wasn't debate right but he was getting into that and he was calling them out for their hypocrisy they had the keys right of the kingdom but they didn't enter in like many ones and ones who may have had the bible or they preach about jesus or christ or god or holy spirit and salvation they were just like those pharisees so the religious pharisees so we understand right and we even commiserate you know with many ones and ones you know amongst the people who we identify as our people right more because we are the once lost now found beta israel right and secondarily, because people may refer to us as black and brown people, but first is because of who we really are. Although for them, right, and for some of y'all, it's because of black first. Okay, we get that. That's that's not. It, maybe it's a debatable point for others, but it's not for I and I. So, I'm gonna pick up on the whole sons of God thing, right? The whole sons of God thing, right? And get a clearer context. The sister that was on, I think, Sonnet, is Sister Christine. The way she broke it down, right? There were some parts while I would listen to her breakdown, I recognized, okay, we're going to have to go into this. But it was a very, 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 very good breakdown. It's this verse, these verses here in Genesis 6 and 2, Genesis 6 and 4. It's these verses right here concerning sons of God. Who were the sons of God, right? And the sons of God were not the giants. The sons of God in Genesis 6 and 2, they were not the giants. They were not the giants in Genesis 6 and 4. But the so-called, quote, giants on the Nephilim. The Nephilim were the fallen angels. The sons of God, right, were the righteous, right, especially Set, you know, the children of Seth. We could get into a little more detail on that as well. And some scriptures that the European Western Christians chose not to include Right? Or did not have, you know, like the snatch and grab. When you go snatch and grab something, you, you can't grab everything sometimes if there's a lot there. So they didn't snatch and grab everything, but they snatched and grabbed these 66 books. So we begin right here with these 66 books, and then we build the build as we build. So the kingdom, right, the kingdom, right, is within you, but who are you? Right. As well as the point that not everybody. Right. You know, is everybody a child of God? Children of God? Is everybody a child of God? The kingdom of is the kingdom of heaven really in you? Maybe we'll ask it like that. Is the kingdom of heaven in you? Question. Who are you? Right. Are you a, a child of God? Right. Are you a child of God? Right. According to the scripture. See, if you will not now take the term, translated term God and apply it to every other thing, well, then you're going to have to bring in their doctrines or their dogmas or their beliefs, and then you've got to stand on that. But as far as this scripture, there's a context, and most of them are out of context and also running out of time. Yes, I. Shalom, Chavarim. Shalom. Like, share, right, and subscribe, but share this definitely, you know, elsewhere. Want to get this reasoning and discussion going? Check out Rastafari Israelites, right, on the YouTube, as well as LOJS.org. That's LOJS.org. I'm Yadon, Ben Kushi, Ben Chayel, and I and I approve of this message. Shalom Chabarim. Shalom. Yeshua Shalom.